Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. It's Friday, so we're doing some gruel, and we've got some updates to the deck, so I want to go over them really quickly before we started the game. A uh, couple of the main changes I'll go through. We pimped out our deck a little bit more. I uh, finally said, let's get away from using the basic lands MTGO provides. Let's get ourselves some full art lands that'll be pretty cool to play with. So I did that for both decks. Um, just cosmetic. Uh, one thing, one main thing we did in the deck is take out two Hunter Slivers. Haven't been super impressed with this card. Um, just hasn't really showed its worth that much. Every once in a while it will help, but I don't think we need four of them in the deck. And you can break MTGO with this, actually. If you've got a Hunter Sliver out and a Menace Sliver out and you provoke one creature to block... <laughs> you just stall the game out because both things like contradict each other and you'll just get stuck in the blocking phase uh, It's pretty crazy. So I took out two hunter sli two hunter slivers uh, in replace of the hunter slivers We had a suggestion by a subscriber. I'm sorry. I don't remember your name uh, But they suggested using violent outburst an instant um, That gives our creatures plus one plus zero until end of turn and it has a cascade effect when you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Then you put the rest uh, on the bottom of your library in any order. So basically, we can cast this card, buff our team, cascade hopefully into like another lord, buff our team even more by just paying it for no mana cost. Or, you know, cascade into a lightning bolt or something, just something of value uh, to really push through some damage. So I think this... Has a decent place in our deck um, over Hunter Sliver. sliver. Uh, another thing I did is I took out Electricery. We had one in the main. I just tossed that into the sideboard where it belongs. It doesn't really seem to be of much use just sitting in the main board as a one of. Uh, so we put it over to the sideboard. And speaking of the sideboard, biggest change? We finally, finally, finally got Flaring Pain in the sideboard. I know it took forever for me to put it in the sideboard. Sorry about that. Uh, but we do have it in here, so if we ever go up against Tron or something, we will have a way to win. So, uh, nice thing about playing red, we've got Flaring Pain, a way to get past Tron. So, uh, yeah, those are the deck changes so far. Um, just a little bit of an update. Hopefully this helps us a little bit. Uh, I know it's been a struggle lately with Gruul. Uh, uh, I think it's just... Nah, it's struggling. It's struggling out there. There's not a lot of good matchups for Gruul Slivers. Um... We we lose we lose our stamina pretty quickly in this deck. So, uh, but hopefully we do pretty good today, and hopefully the changes make a little bit of a difference. Um, so yeah, let's get into a game. All right, let's uh, start up a game here. Again, it's been a rough day. This is a slow hand, but it's decent, and we've got the violent outburst. I have been trying so hard to get a good game out of MTGO, and people are just not wanting to play. They're leaving after game one, or just leaving halfway through, or something. It's just ridiculous. I can't seem to get a good game. It's not even like we're crushing people or anything, and they're just leaving because they're mad or something. Like These are games where... People are just leaving for no reason. They're winning. They, they've got a huge board stay and they're like leaving or something, you know? It's just ridiculous. I don't like playing that teetering peaks like that, but we kind of have to to set up for next turn. It's been rough. I've played a lot of games over the course of last night and this morning. And I've yet to get like a decent game to post. It's been a struggle. It's been a real struggle. I had a guy leave a game... I joined back into him, he'd leave the game again, join back in, he'd leave it. he'd play one game only. That's all he'd do, he'd just play one game. It was ridiculous. He'd play one match, go to the sideboard, then he'd quit to the lobby. And I'd rejoin him, he'd play one match, win or lose, go to the sideboard, quick to the lobby. No sense. Hmm. I think think we're going to want to go muscle here. Clear our path a little bit. Start getting in there. 
We'll be able to showcase our violent outburst. If they ever tap out, we'll try to throw that down. Oh. They're scared of the poisonous, leaving my lord. Fair enough. Passing with the counter spell up. We'll try to throw one of these down, see if they want to counter. Straight passing. I'm gonna bait a counter spell here. Let's do another one. Bait it. Alright, we'll, we'll go for it. They probably have it though. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, we're still getting in for four, putting them to six, so. That's fine. Mm -mm -mm. I want you to tap out, not by scredding, though. don't want them to counter this violent outburst. So I'm going to wait. Get in there for three. Their clock is low. Tap out. Go big. Go crazy. Nope. They let me have it. They're scared that the Lord's coming next. It's not. We're just going to swing in for two. Go to one. I really want to showcase the violent outburst. Just let me do it. Let me do it. Ball drifter. Send it down a blocker. You got another thing? Yes. They're tapping out. All right, we gotta go for it here. Cascade. Oh yeah. We'll cast it. Creatures have menace. Already have them, that's okay. And there it is for you, Violent Outburst. The team will get buffed, we can swing in for the win. I don't know what they were, what else they had to help them there, but, uh, Violent Outburst, doing some work, it's nice, uh, what do we want here against this deck, probably some more vines, I don't know if a relic's that important, drop a two-headed, maybe drop a striking, Mm, we'll keep Blade back. 
Let's drop uh, one of our hearts, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Let's see what we can get. See if we can have a decent finish to this game. It's a rarity this weekend, let me tell you. <clears throat> Keep facing these control decks. We can keep this. This is good. Again, it's a little slow, but we're on the draw, so hopefully we can get like an untapped land and try to get into Muscle Silver before they can counter it. We got a Mutagenic to protect it from a Scred early on, too. Quite, so I think we're just gonna put this down. Start setting up to play stuff. See if they want to go for a striking sliver. We'll let it resolve. We'll let it resolve. We'll pass. Scred something. Okay, you're gonna cycle. They got their double blue to hold up. There you go. Passing back. Let's go for the face here, try to bait it. Hmm, not gonna do it. Well, I'm gonna hold off. I don't want my guys getting countered. We'll play it easy. There you go. I counter that? No. All right. Should we try to save one? I say we try to save our Viverlint. They'll counter it? Alright, sure. We'll put out a Lord then. Got a little storm count going there. Okay. Now we're in a bit of a position. And exclude, huh? Too bad we don't have another land. We kind of need another land to start dropping... Getting one counter, one down. <laughs> Auger, okay. It's not over yet, but they've started swinging back here. I got a scred, okay.
They'll let me have it. All right. Will you just scred it, though? Or will you wait? Need to top deck another lord. Lightning bolts, huh? That let me have it. Five cards in your hand, though. Oh, man. Don't really want to go for it. We'll keep playing patient until we can hold up enough to bait something and put it down, whatever. They got so many cards in their hand, though. Making progress just with lightning bolts. <laughs> Let's bait it again. Gonna keep taking it. They're holding up so much mana though, they have so many cards. Gonna allow it. We got another scred in there. So if they let this survive till next turn, we can attempt to go for like a big vines on this thing and like kill them. Oh, they're gonna scred it again. Uh, I really wanna save the vines to bait a counter spell and then play our muscle. Counter it? Do we go for it here? Oh, man. I don't know. This could be a mistake. They could still potentially counter this, so. Yeah, they're gonna. Alright. Time to hold back cards again. unfortunate they're just locking us out now grabbing a scred yeah Grab the scred, but we can protect it unless they counter this. All right, they let us have it finally. Ephemerate this thing. Ah, they're playing with ephemerate. 
That's crazy. Grab a lightning bolt. So this thing is gonna die no matter what, which sucks. Because they'll just lightning bolts, will vines, and then they'll just scred it. This is value. Holy crap. Ephemerate needs to go away. It needs to be banned. <laughs> it's it's a pretty powerful card. We gotta go for it. There's no point in kicking it, but, you know, it is what it is. Counter, whatever. Let's see what we draw. But I think the game's pretty much over now. And of vines, lovely. All right, I've seen enough. They can just get back whatever they need. Let's go to game three. So maybe uh, relic is decent in this, since they're pulling so much from the graveyard here. I don't know. This way for them. <clears throat> Wow. Uh, sure, we'll keep it, but it's not great. If they can't really counter anything, we could potentially really hurt them for a lot. Put out heart. They gonna hold up counter spell? Good. So we can get down our other Viverlint and really cruise in for a lot of damage here, and then they are in trouble. Good. Protection. Excellent. Exactly what we need to see. Hit him for six poisonous. Put him to eight. All we gotta do is, we're gonna scred him, we're gonna say no. Doesn't mean they can't take care of something next turn, but we've got them pretty dang close. Let's see what they can do.
They got to like double scred. <laughs> All right, we win. Cool. Good game. Woo. All right. We finally got a decent game. That's the first decent game in like six hours of playing this dang game right now. And I'm not even joking about that. That's how bad it is. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys like the changes to the deck. Uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment letting me know what you guys think about uh, Violent Outburst and some of the, the new stuff we put in. Uh, and let me know what you guys, uh, your thoughts are. So, um, yeah, subscribe for more. We'll be back again with some more Gruel next week. And we'll uh, update you on the small changes we made to the Green White deck uh, in Monday's video for the regular slivers as well. So stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in the next video.